man who once drunkenly told me that when it comes to childcare, he doesn't think his wife Rachel pulls her weight. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the worst one, I think. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. I'm very calm. Oh, good. Why are you so calm? You know, I've started meditating. I'm listening to some motivational, confidence-boosting music. Can I hear it? It's quite personal. Let's have a listen. I don't know if this will work. He's just a man called Greg. 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 You may well end up being the Taskmaster soon, but I promise you this, there is only one way that will happen, and I will have to die. Strike Alex with a ball. Alex may not run, hide, or leave the Taskmaster grounds. Fastest wins. So I've got to find the little bastard. The time starts now. Do I have to find the ball? Ball! Balls! <laughs> Does anyone know? <laughs> Are there any balls anywhere? Well, I mean, I've got to find a ball. <gasps> I know where a ball is. <gasps> I've just seen him, the little f bite out of the ball! <laughs> barely give them out. I think there's been a handful of occasions across 11 series. I'm going to give Morgana a bonus point for her wow. attempt before we even give her a score. Why are you giving um, Morgana a bonus point? You would think it was because you set a trap for Alex, which I really enjoyed and thought, I'm going to give her an extra point for that, it's so clever. But it's not, it's because you called Alex a little Oh, that's <laughs> 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 Mate, a bonus point. Yep. Yes, you are setting quite a precedent there for future... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I've probably said quite a few in the show, actually. Yeah, well, let's watch those points rack up. <laughs> yes. Hello. I mean, you're going to crash straight ahead of these two, I know it. What have you bought in that's got layers? I bought a load of my jackets and I put as many as humanly possible on Alex. There I am, in all his coats. And let me explain what I can justify why I did this. Okay. Please justify, because I can, I can feel these people moving forward on their seats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What I would argue is that this show and possibly your role yeah. wouldn't be what it is without him. Yeah. And therefore, him in all my coats... Can I tell you? Yeah. You've just blown it. <laughs> <laughs> Man who is more than just a PA. He's a P-A-I-N. <laughs> and he's always got his hands down his P-A-N-T-S because he's got an R-A-S-H-I-T-S. <laughs> Desiree, Desiree snorted at that one. <laughs> when you mentioned the rash. She must know. She must know about your little pink blotches that you keep secret. <laughs> Always in spring, isn't it, that it appears? <laughs> the blotches? <laughs> yeah. Especially as clockwork. Oh, look. The snowdrops are just fading away. Yep. <laughs> right. On with the prize task. Got it. And this time you've asked them to bring in the most ridiculous thin thing. Now, I've seen some ridiculous thin things in my life and I'm about to see some more, so it's a great day for me. There are five points for the most ridiculous thin thing and all five of the ridiculous thin things will eventually go home with tonight's winner. It's great stuff. Desiree, what ridiculous thin thing will you present to me? They are these trunks that when you get them wet in the water, they sort of dissipate, they just come off of you. Dissolving pants. Yes. Desiree, here they are. They look like normal pants. Get them wet. Get oh, them wet. All apart. It's such a shame that you've introduced those on this show, because I genuinely would buy those for Alex. 
<laughs> I'd love for your truth to be revealed to the public. My truth? Yeah. I've always called that's it my I truth. Call it yeah, I call it my truth as well. <laughs> See, a strong opener, I would say. OK. That's right, a strong opener. All right. Work out the contents of the... Oi, oi. Work out the contents of these bags. You may not open the bags. You can either ask Alex to make one tiny hole in each bag and have five minutes examination time during which you must eat at least one big spoonful from each bag. Or... <laughs> Ask Alex to put all the contents in a blender for one minute. And then have ten minutes examination time during which eating is optional. Lot of mercy. A minute up. <laughs> okay, Morgana. Can you taste for me? What do you get? Let me eat this and tell you what I get. Yeah. It's a close run thing because I'll tell you now that if Alex had actually been sick, I would have given you ten bonus points. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat. It's the closest I've come. Praying that he vomited on television. You know when someone looks genuinely worried. Literally put anything on a spoon, he'll gobble it right down. <laughs> now for a man who's a bit lost when we're off air and passes the time by setting himself tasks. Tasks like try and make yourself look like a blow-dried otter. Cry when you go to the toilet for a number two because you still don't understand what's happening. And show off to girls by pretending you're modest and nice. Uh -huh. It's Little Alex Horn! <laughs> Hello, Greg. I've got a business proposition for you. Oh, wow. A proposal. Great. I will offer you 25% of everything I've got. If I can come round to your luxury pad. Yep. And that's it. I just want to visit once. Could I? Oh, no. No? No, I'm afraid... 50% of everything I've got. No, I don't want anything. I could come around for 20 minutes, you can have 80% of everything I own. No, I, <laughs> I, I don't want anything to do with you. Yes. <laughs> Worth a try, though, wasn't it? Worth yeah, a try. It was really good. Usually I introduce him in a derogatory way, but for a change, I thought he could read the introduction I've written for him. Over to you. My name is Alex, and in interviews, I pretend Greg and I are friends in real life. But in truth, we barely know each other. Also, I've got a little winky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play a quick game of whose face am I sitting on? Yes, because I know this is the pre-prepared banter you've got for us. Mm, it's a little game for you. I thought you'd enjoy this. Whose face am I sitting on, Greg? I don't know, Alex. You can have 120 guesses. OK. <laughs> I can do an impression of them. OK. Oh, would you like a present? Uh, Father Christmas! <laughs> yes! Father Christmas. Yeah. That was really good. You can't sit on Father Christmas's face. Oh, yes, you can. 